I'm David from Lavika Photography, and I wanted to uh, revisit one of the first videos that I put on YouTube uh, because you guys have a lot of questions about it. And what it is is on the Sony A6000, right here, the hot shoe on the black body, and it's the black one only, comes painted. Why? I have no idea. But it depends on the flash that you're actually using, but most flashes don't seem to ground well on it, so you have to remove the paint. This may void the warranty, I have no idea. Um, I go through so many camera bodies that it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, if, if I lose one after three months of use, it's more than paid for, so it's not a big deal. But for a lot of you out there, you know, you may have to make that decision, do I really want to remove the paint on it? Um, I'm saying, yeah, it's going to make your life so much easier. But anyway, let me show you what I did. So I'm going to get real close here, and hopefully you can see it in the light. But right here, I had to remove the paint. Um, and that allows the flash to make better contact. And uh, it's only on the A6000 that they actually sent this in painted. Um, on the A7, A7S, A7R, uh, everything else, the hot shoes are all shiny metal and unpainted. All right, so with that being said, you can take, I use the Young Now uh, 603N2 for Nikons because I used to shoot D7100s and a D800, so that was ideal for me. And these now seem to work just fine. Um, if you run into a problem where these don't seem to work, and I'll show you from the top, notice there's wiggle room on these hot shoes. So if you push it all the way to the right, or if you're looking from the back of the camera, all the way to the right, or clockwise, uh, that has a tendency to give it a better ground. All right, so let me show you with the flash on there. Now, this particular speed light, um, when I ordered these, I ordered what they called the universal version. It's probably actually for Pentax or whatever, but these are the single pins, if you can see that there. Um, it doesn't really matter because uh, this trick seems to help with the Nikon flashes. The SB800s had a hard time staying on here in general. They didn't clamp down, so I ended up having to get rid of those. But the uh, Canon uh, 580 uh, and the 430 uh, I put on here the other day, and uh, it doesn't seem to have any issues at all. But flashes in general that are not meant for the uh, multi-terminal hot shoe do have a tendency to have a poor fit. So... With this on here, and let me change my mode setting here, um, get it off of wireless. Okay, so on this setting right here, uh, if, if this flash is just straight on, it won't go off. Now, this is what a lot of you are complaining about. You cleaned off the hot shoe and it still won't go off. Again, if you rotate the flash on the hot shoe to the right, then you make better ground. Why is this? I have no idea. I think it's just kind of a uh, poorly designed fit of a hot shoe. Either that or their uh, grounding of the actual hot shoe just isn't very good. But pushing this over, it might actually be grounding itself next to the multi-terminal, which is a much better connection, therefore allowing it to fire correctly. So anyway, there's my hot shoe update of the day. And so far, I have tested... Canon, Nikon, um, Samsung, and Pentax flashes on here, and they all seem to work without a hitch. Uh, so again, you know, you have to remove the paint on the hot shoe. And the way that I do this is uh, I start out with, on this one I actually start out with a fingernail file, and then went to uh, a tiny eyeglass screwdriver and just kind of scraped some of the paint out. On this one, I didn't take it all the way out because I was in a hurry, but on the other one, I cleaned it out completely. Um, I do think it works a little bit better if it's completely clean. But there is your update for the day, and uh, I hope you guys like my videos, and I'll talk to you later.